Welcome to part one of um, tutorials for your compound lifts when you are going to the gym. Now, I know a lot of my followers might be used to um, working out over kind of online Zoom or with lighter weights and stuff, but now we're getting back to the gym. There's definitely more ladies asking how they do certain things. Um, and I would definitely suggest that if you're in a gym, um, that you speak to one of the PTs there and maybe spend a bit of time with them working on your lifts, your form, making sure you're doing everything correctly and getting some feedback when you're doing it. Um, this is kind of a tutorial to make it easier for you and if you're doing it, maybe look at what you're doing going, actually, I'm doing that wrong. Um, but the best bet is to get somebody there with you, watching your form, correcting you, kind of pointing to areas that you could improve on. And also to discuss... Um, working going forward, so your programming, how many sets and reps and progression and stuff like that. But this is just a basic tutorial on back squats. Now, I'm hoping that the squat rack you are working on will be very similar to mine. Um, so to start with, you want to make sure that it's not too high. So I've got to kind of reach up really high there. Um, and once I've got some weight on the bar and getting over the lips, that's just going to be too much for me. So I'm just going to take it down one step. Okay? Now I should have um, a pin in the back of here. So make sure that's all done in securely. So just take it, down, take it down one and make sure that's right for you. Now as you're looking at the bar, the bars that we have here um, have like the smooth bit in the middle. So it gives you an idea of your handstands on the bar and make sure that they are equal. It's not too bad when the bar's like this, <coughs> but once you've got some weight loaded on, you need to make sure that you are doing it safely, okay? So I'm gonna take my hands on the bar, equal distance on the same place, either of the bar. I'm going to step under the bar, and I'm gonna take the barbell onto my traps, okay? Now I don't want it on my neck, and I don't want it too far down. I wanna make sure it's sat on top of my traps there. So I'm gonna bend my knees, and as I stand up, that bar is going to be lifted off the rack, my glutes are going to be squeezed, and I am then going to stand back, okay? Now, ideally this is the position that you're going to stay in. You're going to make sure that your feet are hip width apart, and that your knees are hip width apart, hip distance apart as well. So, it's really easy, let me pop the bar back in. <coughs> it's really easy when you've got a barbell on your back to automatically feel like you want to come forward because you're up, you know, if you've done it, if you've not done it before, you're gonna be really nervous. So it's gonna make you just wanna be really safe and end up like hinging from the hip. You don't want to do that. You're just gonna initiate your squat like you normally do. Knees nice and wide, you're coming down to that squat position and driving back to the top. Now, if you can imagine, on the end of your barbell, I got told this once by somebody and it's a great way to teach people, um, that you put a paintbrush on the end of your bar and you're trying to paint a nice straight line down the wall, okay? So if my bar's coming forward, there's no going to be no straight line. You want to make sure there is a wall in front of you, a wall behind, and that you're going nice and low with that barbell. Now, if you put too much weight on, you're not going to get that depth. So you can see people in the gym, maybe they've got loads of weight on and they're just kind of tucking in here. You're not going to get any progression. You need that full range of motion, okay? So you want to get nice and low. If you're getting to here and you feel like it's too much to push back up against, Take your weight down, regress it, make sure you are doing a good squat, okay? So, hands on the bar, you're gonna go under the bar, find a nice solid place to sit on your back, not your neck, you're gonna stand it up. Step back so you're clear of the rack and anything else around you. You're gonna keep your head facing forward, okay? Not looking down, not looking up. You're gonna take the knees nice and wide, initiate that squat, keeping the weight in the heels, all the way down to the bottom of your squat, and explosive back up to the top of the glute squeeze. Okay, then into the second rep. Once you've finished, you're going to walk into the bar, place your rack steady, and come out through that bar, okay? So it's all about safety. Then, as you go through, you can add some weight on. Make sure that within your gym, you've got smaller weights to add on as you're starting to work towards like eight and 10 reps, and you're trying to find I don't know, your rep max for those things, then you wanna be making sure you're going up in smaller increments. So don't go whacking 10 kilos on the end. Your bars at the gym, ours is a 15 kilo bar. So if I put two fives either side, I've got 25 kilos, sounds really basic. 
but many people tend to write down that they've done 10 kilo back squats when actually their bar was 15, 20 kilos itself. So make sure that you jot all your numbers down. Make sure you can see how you're progressing. And if you've got any questions, please do ask. But I hope this little tutorial helps you with some back squats for yourselves this week. Bye.